Thank you for the question, Andrew. That's great. M Mr. President, this is the last question, and, and, and I know that seeing some of your prior interviews, you, you talked about how sometimes music played such an important part in your life early on, and, uh, and what a great sax player you were, and, and you could have you could have been a professional musician if you if you didn't go in the, in, into into the public service. Um, and we have a question here from Walkerville uh, Collegiate Institute. By the way, my, my brother and I we, we, we talk about this all the time. What a great sax player you were. And uh, and were is the opposite uh, the operative word. <laughs> yeah, still are. I still play a little bit, but I'm not very good anymore. Yeah. So the question is, uh, we know that music played a big part in your life. Do you support music education in public schools from kindergarten to grade 12? Oh, absolutely. I think, look, I know that a lot of schools are strapped for budgets. And in the United States, in the last 20 years, we've had all kinds of schools drop their general music programs and their physical education programs with predictable consequences for both. But let's just talk about music for a minute. First of all, there is a lot of evidence that our brain structure forms early and then changes in terms of increasing capacity only in response to stimuli. And all of our brains work differently, but we have huge amounts of research now that there are some people who literally learn better when exposed to music, that it increases your imagination, it increases your capacity. And uh, I used to have arguments all the time with uh, the then Prime Minister of Israel, who's now the Defense Minister, Ehud Barak, who was a concert-level pianist. He was really a great pianist. And I said, you know, you were a concert-level pianist, and I was just sort of a average jazz saxophone player. But I think it's better in politics to be an average jazz man than a concert-level pianist because I can ad-lib, and you've got to be able to ad-lib in this business. Makes you too good. So we'd have these arguments about the relationship of music and structure and composition. And, but I can't tell you, I, I doubt if I would have become president if I hadn't had music as a child. It, it taught me discipline. It gave me self-confidence. It gave me both order and creativity, which is a hard thing to get in the same place. And it gave me a sense of teamwork and a sense of individual achievement, which is a hard thing to get in the same place. And uh, so I, I feel very strongly that this is important. I spend a lot of time now in my dotage uh, trying to learn new things, and I, I spend a lot of time reading science. And the most important for me, anyway, because I'm uh, 63 years old. I don't know how I got to be that old, but I am. But anyway, the most important thing for me is that there was a massive new study last year which showed that people can form new neural networks well into their late 60s and early 70s if they do new things. And the main thing cited was this in the study. They said what we found, much to our surprise, was that it was the doing of the new, particularly when music was involved. So that, for example, if you had a physicist, you would think that if he wanted to continue forming new neural networks at my age, what he should do is take that handful of physics riddles that have never been solved and just keep working on them. You know, it would be dip more and more and more difficult. But what they found was he would form more new neural networks if he took his grandchild to Suzuki Piano because it was different and music is different and rewires the brain. So I just say that I think that it's, it's, it's also really fun, but I think it's, it's more important than most people realize to offering a complete education. And there are a very significant number of young people whose brains will work better if exposed to it and exposed to it at an early age. Thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to call upon John Olmsted, please.